Hey guys, and how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Say, this morning I just wanted to make a quick video on the Singer foot pedal. I have a couple of 201s sitting back here. I'm in the process of finishing this guy up, and I had the uh, junction box where the power comes into the machine off. And uh, I've had, over the years, I've rewired a number, number of these foot pedals. You might get one of these older machines um, and the cord is shot and it's a Bakelite pedal. It's got a very small button for, for your foot to press. Uh, the internals are like kind of antiquated. There's carbon discs in there and whatnot. And then you've got this plastic end. And I actually used to go buy like an inexpensive extension cord. Take this whole thing apart rewire it, run it down to the foot pedal, and uh, that just got to be time consuming, a lot of work. And then what I started to do in place of that was I was just buying, let me show you here, I was just buying these, um, it's kind of a mess, let me get this guy out of the way. I was just buying these uh, new cords, you'd get a cord end with the adapter that would plug into to this fixture on the machine and then you would wire that into your old foot pedal. You would just take the screws out of the bottom, run your new wire in here, connect it, okay. okay. Alright, so all your cord is problems are cured. You're still running this old style foot pedal. And if the internals of this aren't in good condition, I've noticed with a lot of the machines that came in like a uh, cabinet where this was mounted underneath, um, these usually operate pretty good, but when they're with a portable machine, this gets dropped a few times, these discs inside crack, and you start to get flakes of carbon and whatnot, and they're not going to perform as good as they did when they were new. So. Uh, one thing you have to bear in mind, if you are running your machine in a cabinet where this is mounted in the cabinet and you like to use that, uh, the, the knee lever to control, you know, the power of the machine, you're going to have to stick with this style. But what I've decided to do, the cost, the cost to buy the cords and the amount of time it takes to rewire these just isn't really making sense to me anymore. So there is an online option I've decided to go with. Even if you just buy this portion of the cord and wire it into your old pedal, I think you're at about $12 or $13 now. So I've decided to, I'm going to quit with all that. And when I redo one of these machines, if, if it has to have a new foot pedal, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'm just going to go ahead. They're selling these online. They're about, I think they're about $22. It's just an electronic foot pedal. Um, you're going to have a nice big pedal to press down with your foot. You're not going to be searching for this little tiny button here all the time, which actually pushes down a little harder. There's a spring in there. But this is going to give you full power, even power and it's got a nice long cord uh, you can have all new wiring and the end is made for the this is the uh, junction off of the 201 but it's the same design as like your featherweight and a lot of the other machines like the i better not start mentioning names i might say a wrong one but anyway if your if your machine end looks like this it should work this is slightly rounded and when these come from the factory, the, these are a little bit tight to get on. What I've been doing is I'll just take a Phillips screwdriver. This is just plastic. And I'll just put the Phillips screwdriver in here and work it a little bit just to, just to kind of remove a little bit of that plastic right there. And then when you go to put this on your machine, let's pretend this is mounted to the machine. You can just go ahead and push it in, and it's going to go on a lot, a lot easier. Bear in mind, it's, everything here is brand new, so it is going to go on kind of hard the first few times that uh, you put it on there. But yeah, this is what I would recommend. Uh, I'm not making any money off of these. I'll put a link in uh, the description down below, but just over time, 
from rewiring so many of these. I bet I rewired probably over the years, you know, several dozen of these. And it's got to the point where by the time you're just buying your cord and you have to deal with the old foot pedal, I'm just recommending to people if you're looking for a solution maybe you don't want to try to rewire something you know buy one of these you're done so thanks for watching i hope that helped you out a lot of people might have known about this already but uh who knows there's a lot of people that might not have known about it all right as always thanks for watching uh I've noticed a lot of people watch the videos that are not subscribed, so if you feel like subscribing, go ahead. It's totally free. Helps out the channel because then more people see the videos because they're re recommended to others on YouTube. They come up in their playlist. And, uh, yeah, i got to get back to work on this 201 and get it done today. So that's going to be it. See ya.